Number four, Mastrand and the family Magnus. Welcome home to Elias and Malka Magnus. The couple lived here with their children, Deborah, Yitel, Jacob, Diana and Blekmar. A teacher for the children and a maid also lived in the house. The family was recorded as living on Mastran between the years 1781 to 1785. But who were the Magnus family? Elias Magnus was born around 1730 in Prussia and was a multitasker who began his career as a craftsman and owned a successful sock factory in Mecklenburg. Elias heard rumours that Sweden would open up for Swedish immigration and in 1779 he travelled to Stockholm. In January of the same year, Sweden had made a historic decision that opened up the country to Jewish immigration. One of the reasons was that the Swedish economy would benefit from more people settling and trading in Sweden. Elias appealed to the king to speed up the work on Jewish regulations. If he had the opportunity to have religious freedom and the same rights as Swedish citizens, he was prepared to move his business to Sweden. While waiting for the Jewish regulations to be completed, Elias and his wife Malka moved to Mastrand, where he worked as a merchant. In connection with this, he was also appointed the Queen's Court Factor. As a court factor, Elias carried out various procurements and commissions on behalf of the court. Elias Magnus became, alongside Moses Solomon, one of the most successful Jewish businessmen on Mastrand and gained an important position among Jews in the city. Elias and Moses also served as directors of the Jewish congregation at Mastrand. Elias Magnus expected rights after owning his property for only two years, as promised under the Freeport Ordinance. Therefore, he was very disappointed when Gustav III decided that the civil rights would only apply to Mastrand. Elias wrote to the king, pleading that the new law of exceptions would not apply to him, he and his family had nevertheless moved their business to Sweden to benefit the country and get all the rights of a Swedish citizen. Elias was not heard and his application was rejected. In 1785, the family then left Mastrand. Elias Magnus had received a permit to run a wholesale business in Gothenburg, but the family chose to settle in Stockholm. When moving to the capital, the family was allowed to import all their household goods duty-free. Despite this, they were stopped on arrival by the customs office, which considered that the Magnus family owned a suspicious amount of porcelain tableware. Customs believed that he planned to trade in porcelain, which in such cases would be taxed. The situation was resolved by calling in a number of members from Stockholm's Jewish congregation who could certify that the Jewish ceremonial act required a much larger set of both porcelain and cookware. The Magnus family kept kosher and thus used different crockery for meat and milk respectively. In addition, they probably also had additional sets for the Feast of the Passover. Elias bought Rockstar Farm in Sponger Parish, where he settled with his family. He then became one of the first Jews in Sweden to own a piece of land. Music